What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cameron back at it again with a Black Ops Cold War video and in today's video guys We're talking about zombies and my review of zombies and what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong And what I think they should change and what I'm pretty excited about in the future But I'm gonna get this out of the way guys Black Ops Cold War zombies is the best part of this game It is by far the best part of this game. I haven't seen what they're gonna do with Warzone yet I played like one game of Warzone and it's a fucking buggy mess right now It is so fucking laggy the Cold War characters look like shit and I don't know like the Warzone right now is a pain in the ass But when season one comes around hopefully they iron out all the issues and I'll give you my war my review of that but the zombies is a fucking A plus, dude. The zombies is by far the best part of this game and the number one thing this game really has to offer. I think they added so much depth into the zombie mode and there's so much content in this one fucking map that is amazing. Um, it is definitely a massive step up from the catastrophe that was Black Ops 4. And I've always said this, that Black Ops 4 is probably the worst zombies in the series, maybe with Black Ops 2. But I think Black Ops 2 has a better like perk system. Eh, actually, no, Black Ops 2 zombies was solid. But I think the, just the first two maps that were on Black Ops 2 were so bad that it held it from being like one of the best. But this is definitely one of the better zombies I've had. It's probably on tier... On par with uh, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 1, and World at War, which I regard as the best zombie experiences in uh, Call of Duty. And it's fantastic. It is a lot of fun. There is so much to do in this one fucking map. The one thing I love the most is the rank up and progression system. I like how it goes simultaneously with multiplayer and the guns you get in you know, zombies are the ones you can use in multiplayer. So you can unlock attachments and you can do all the shit that you can do in zombies. And I like that too because you can casually rank up your guns and just do all that stuff. Yeah, it takes a while and it's pretty slow, but it's worth it, man. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. I really, really enjoy ranking up my guns in there, especially from the sweat fest that is multiplayer. But it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to rank up your guns in zombies and it's, a, you know, not really a pain in the ass. Sure, when you get high up there in the levels, eh, it's kind of a pain in the ass and... But it's not that, it's still fun. Like, you're just running around killing zombies. It's not frustrating at all. It's pretty easy. So, I can't really complain. Ranking up your guns in zombies is definitely the way to go before you go into the sweaty ass multiplayer. But, zombies rank up progression system is fantastic. It is definitely the best we've had in the series. And I love the customization. I love how you can upgrade your perks with the Ethereum crystals. You can upgrade your weapons. You can upgrade your field upgrades, you can upgrade basically everything with these Ethereum crystals you get throughout playing the game. They're not any bullshit like Dr. Monty's fucking thing in Liquid Divinium or some bullshit like that in Black Ops 3 that was totally random. This is just you play the game and you get these upgrade crystals and you can do what you want to do with them. I think that's fantastic. Um, they have camo challenges. You can get cool-ass camos in zombies. I actually think the best camos in the game you unlock are playing zombies. Um, the Plague Diamond looks sick as fuck, and, uh, the Dark Matter, or Dark Aether, uh, final camo also gives grinders something to grind for. The progression in Zombies is fantastic. The camos, the unlocks, the way you rank up, everything is fantastic. It is great. Really, really great, and I love how you can, uh, upgrade your thing just by playing the game and everything like that. That is definitely the best thing this Zombies has to offer, and it just adds so much depth into the gameplay, and I really, really enjoy that. Um, then another thing I really want to talk about right now is the map. The map is really cool. It's like a cool spin on Noct, and I know people are kind of getting tired of the remastered, like, bullshit, because in Black Ops 4, we had... Pretty much garbage zombie map. They weren't garbage, but they were very uninspiring. Um, like, you know, most of the maps were all the ether storylines. All of them, actually, were just remasters. And that was really lazy. I would like to see, especially with those legendary characters, I would have liked to see, like, new maps and new ideas brought into the game. Not just a fucking nostalgia jerk-off session. I would actually like to see, like actual new maps and new experiences and stuff like that because we already played those maps it's kind of bullshit that we just ended the story by like giving them remastered bullshit but this spin that they took on it was much better than they, what they did in black ops 4 they actually added so much that it's like a totally different area and knocked is such a small section of the map it doesn't really fucking matter you have this big ass bunker you have the knocked building you have the front of the knocked building you have where this airplane crashes and the pond um, I definitely like to train where the airplane crashes. I think that's the best spot to train it because there's so much open space and you can easily maneuver around things. It's perfect. The pond is another good training spot. It's pretty good. Um, 
the, you can spawn in the spawn area. You can train in the spawn area, but it's a little bit more difficult. There's a lot of like rubble and shit around. They can get caught on and get fucked up. That's happened to me many, many times, but it's not a big deal. It's pretty decent. And the bunker is death. <laughs> if you're in the bunker, it's fucking death. It's not a good spot to train in. It's chaos for sure. But I definitely like how when you don't have the power on, you have this flashlight. It definitely adds like a spooky element. And I love the graffiti. The art style on this map is fantastic. The snow, the graffiti, just kind of like a creepy vibe to it. The fucking fog that rolls in here and there. It's really, really cool. And the dogs are vicious. <laughs> the dogs in this thing are just no joke, dude. They can really kill you. They're not like the easy ass dog from like pre pre previous games. Like... Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, the dog round was a joke. It was ridiculous. It was just like a free max ammo. This is actually pretty chaotic and pretty hectic because the dogs are like the Nova 6 crawlers. They can damage you over time, and that's pretty cool too. It has a lot of difficulty. It's a pretty difficult map, especially with the boss zombie, which is really fucking crazy. He's like a freaking like radioactive beast. He first starts out as this big-ass fucking tank, and you have to take him down, and then he splits into two, a bomber and a blaster. The blaster and the bomber or both shoot projectiles and they could kick your ass and they do a hell of a lot of damage and it adds so much fucking chaos into the map it is crazy fucking insane bro it is honestly insane i love the boss zombie he's definitely the hardest boss in zombies i think he's harder than the panzer i think he's harder than uh, brutus he's definitely the hardest zo uh, boss zombie for sure he is no joke he is no joke um then we also have Hmm, the field upgrades, I do want to talk about that. The field upgrades are pretty cool. The best one, I think, is Ether Shroud. The rest of them I haven't really used much, to be honest, but I think Ether Shroud is definitely the best. It's the most beneficial one, at least to me. So that's definitely the best one to go with. That's what I go with. If you get in a sticky situation, you pretty much just get zombie blood, so that's fantastic as well. Uh, Pack-a-Punch is super easy to fucking get. It's, they have, it's kind of similar to World War II. I think they took a lot of elements from World War II that work from that game in the zombies mode. Okay, okay, hold up. Hold your horses now before you leave a comment. That zombies mode is fucking garbage. It is garbage. It's horrible. Okay, it's so boring. The Pack-a-Punch is whack. It's fucking trash. No one's saying that it's a good zombie mode, but they did have some good elements, and they added it in, into the zombies. For example, you have, like, objectives that are marked on the map, so it's super easy, and I think that's good. Because I think a lot of people's gripe with zombies is that it got so complicated that they just didn't want to put in the effort to learn the maps. Because, you know, you have these fetch quests, and it's really annoying to get Pack-a-Punch, especially on maps like Shadows of Evil, which is a great map, by the way. I love that map. It's fantastic. Or, um... Uh, which one? Dead of the Night, which is another one that's a pain in the ass to get Pack-a-Punch on, but another pretty good map. I actually really enjoy that map, but those maps are fucking annoying to get Pack-a-Punch on, and they would definitely benefit from a system like this in Zombies, where they pretty much have uh, objectives. For a casual player who just wants to get Pack-a-Punch, there's no secrets, you don't have to look anything up on Google, none of that bullshit. They basically just have it very, very streamlined. You can you spawn in, you fucking follow the objectives, you get Pack-a-Punch, bada-boom, bada-bing, it's over. Pack-a-Punch is really easy, and you go into the dark ether, which is sick as hell. It's like you're fucking tripping on LSD. There's fucking jellyfish in the sky, and it has this purple, like, spooky hue to it. It's legitimately like you're tripping on fucking acid. It's fucking insane. It's really, really cool. I definitely like how they put the dark ether into it. It's just fucking sick. Being in there is sick as fuck. I wish you could get in there more often and just have that be the map, because it's fucking amazing. It's really, really cool, and I like it. I don't know the story. Yet, so I'm not going to commentate on that. I'm not really that kind of guy. You, there's plenty of YouTube channels that do that. I just talk about the bare, the bare, bare bones elements of zombies. But it's pretty dope. I actually really like the map, you know, as you can tell. I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of the back punch. I'm a big fan of everything. It's really, really fantastic. I think zombies is back, boys. I'm really, really excited for what they do. Are they going to release a new zombie map every season? Or are they going to do it every other season? I hope they do it every season. Because right now, we only have one map. I think it would be cool to get another map. Um, but yeah, there's not really that many issues I have. But I am excited to see where they go with the story, where they go with the... Uh, the maps, what they're going to do, are they going to release a new zombie map every season? I definitely think that's the route they should go on and keep this train going. Because everybody loves zombies. Everybody loves it. This is legit. I haven't heard one person say that the zombies mode is bad. The classic perk system is back. Um, they added an armor system from World War II, which is really, really cool too. I think that was a great addition because 
you can just get armor as well as having your five perks. They actually increase the, the maximum perks you can have, which is cool. Because you definitely need it with as much chaos as going on in this fucking map. Um, I like how you can upgrade your weapons to like purple, which is the best. Or the gold is the best or some shit like that. You can pick up these scraps and like blue things. You can build kill streaks and self revives and equipment. And you pick up, it's like Infinite Warfare 2 where you pick up like lethals and tacticals and you can throw them at the zombies. It's really fucking sick. It is really fucking sick. The HUD is nice and clean. Like, it's really cool, man. I love the upgrading. You, you can upgrade your shield. You can pack a punch three times. You can add weapon mods onto your pack a punch where you can shoot like fucking like laser like laser crystal bullets or whatever the fuck you want to do with the gun there's so much so much of a sand elebox sandbox element and there's so much you could do within this one map the content in it is unreal it is fantastic best zombies experience i've had since black ops 3 honestly but let me know what you guys think about zombies in the comment section below are you enjoying it do you not like it what are your gripes about it but that all being said this is your boy cameron i'm out